Welcome to Streaming Deluxe, my name is Mr. Orange and welcome to a new video this weekend my friends. To everyone that's new to my channel I also make regular comment picker steam key giveaways I can show this to you here very quickly so then I'm putting uh, one of my last uh, YouTube video URLs uh, I copy them here in I filter out the duplicate users and then I'm finding out that 29 people were commenting my last video and if they also subscribed and liked this video they have a chance to win one of those steam keys that I have down below in the description of this video all right guys what I'm going to talk about today is I'm going to talk about how to organize you how to organize your library on steam i think that's pretty pretty important because the moment you're growing a little bit more games uh, you really want to know what you actually do with all those games so uh, how, how how can you find actually games that you want to play so let's put it like this so therefore first of all of course you click here on home on your library so this is the home screen and then i have also my collection screen this is where i already created different collections we're coming to this quickly but i say okay let's go back to the home screen screen so there i see for example i have a subscription of ea play which uh, is showed in here so all the games from ea play i have uh, I, I added them to my profile exactly etc and then we have for example here what's new you can also say we are when uh, on the shelf what's new you can say only show product product updates uh, not other types of events etc so i'm showing now everything so this is maybe more interesting if you don't have a lot of games so the moment you have a lot of games the what's new is uh, is a little bit uh, a bit useless because it's simply too much so what i really like is the recent games shelf so those are all automatic shells so they are already in so i'm showing to you later how you can change this a little bit so then we have the recent shelf so here i see recent games that are added to my library so it's not going uh, back the more than uh, around about 20 games okay then we have play next players like you love these unplayed games in your library so here those are all games that i haven't played now and they are in my library and then steam is suggesting them to play and here we see all my games so i have now all my games here organized uh, 4926 games organized now by hours i played then you see my call of duty games that i played the most borderlands assassin's creed etc but here you can also organize them alphabetically so then you start for example with a game that has just a star sign so we go to the one screen platform one right then we can also uh, to organize some friends playing this. So here I see all the, I, I can I see now most of my friends, for example, play now for people to play Counter Strike. So I can play those games that my friends play. That's I think is very useful. Uh, achievement completion. Then I see all the games that I 100%. So from from 100% uh, down, uh, how I complete the different games. So if you if you think you want to complete a specific game right now because you want to get closer to the 100% completion. So as you can see also size on the disk I think is interesting so that that's what I always use if I want to erase a game then I know for example okay this has now 118 gigabytes uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 so if I need some space on my on my hard disk uh, then I uh, for example go erase those games that take the most of the space. Release date I think is also interesting then you always see the newest games but this is sometimes a bit messed up when games are in early access so it shows then the real release not the early access release then we also have the meta the critics score if you sometimes have the feeling so i want to play in my one game of my library that has a really high score like alex like bioshock portal 2 i think this is a very good way to organize it and then we have also the steam review um uh the steam review organization there you see overwhelming positive for deus ex human revolution what the heck when did this actually happen <laughs> And then Alex overwhelming positive. So you see, if you really, really want to play a game that everyone likes on Steam, maybe that's the way how you find them. And for example, now I'm scrolling down. If I scroll down, let's see. We're coming to really also the bad games. Mix, mix, mixed. So those games are in my library that are not rated yet. Here, mostly negative. Oops. I have too many games it goes crazy ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> but you see that happens if you have too many games uh, the library goes crazy 
all right so guys this is this is all what you see on the home screen so let's go back let's go to the collection point or well, before i go to the collection i'm showing you another very important aspect if you can also change here some uh, some of those icons so we go on steam setting and here we go so you can actually change the icon size so i have now medium those is the medium icon size you can also make a small icon size then you will see they all go small now so popping up well here they are so now you see even better all your games or you go and you make the big the large icon size so this is the large icon size so it's loading yeah so I like the medium, I like the medium. I'm, I'm sticking to the medium personally. And then you can also hear low band with mode, low performance mode, maybe I should use the low performance mode. Improves library performance by disabling certain graphical improvements and transitions. So this, maybe I should click on this. Uh, <laughs> Disable community content, show game icons in the left column. So those are the game icons. So I like to see them, so I'm keeping them. So I'm keeping the medium. So this is also important, the icon size. This was the icon size of your library and how you can improve the, the quality of the system. And uh, if you have a slow, internet so so this is everything you can find under home let's go okay guys let's go to the collection so i'm showing you how now how you create a collection for example you go on collection you can create a collection manually so here you give a name test for example i call this the cat and then i say i'm creating now a, a dynamic collection so i click on dynamic collections so would you like to change the game list view so that the new collection is visible yes show collection so i want to see the new collection and then i for example say this is my i i want to see now in this test collection only games that are cooperative games so then i'm calling it later than cooperative games so so those are now all the games. Now I see only those that are cooperative. So now they're organized uh, due to release date. So, but I'm going to uh, organize them uh, due to the Metascore. So all co-op games due to the Metascore. So this is now a collection. Really nice. You, so you can definitely find a, a co-op game if you feel like you want to play one. Then that is the way how you find a good co-op game. And then you go back to... So they are now all under my tests. You go back to this uh, to the square with the four little squares. You find test 705 games. So I have 705 games that are that are part of this cooperative uh, um, cooperative uh, collection. So go back. I'm erasing this so I can rename and I can remove. So I'm removing now my test collection. So it's it's done. So what else do I have? I have, for example, a favorite collection. The favorite one, I am I was manually adding the games to the favorite collection. So I have, for example, then here Metascore Critic Score. It's now organized. So all of those games are my favorite games. So sometimes people ask me, Mr. Orange, what are your favorite games? So here you see those are my favorite games. So those are mostly AAA games and uh, indie games that I like a lot, that I played a lot. So, but you also see, I sometimes also add people uh, add games that I want to play some more and I haven't played enough, for example. But most of them are actually good games. So this is uh, this one collection. Then I have a demo collection where I put all my demos in. So if I want to play some demo games, then I have my EA Play collection, which is a which is a collection where uh, EA Play games get automatically um, added to it. So that's actually pretty nice. So I have all my EA Play games. Then I have a collection that I call Games I Need to Finish. This is actually a pretty big collection. So, but this is, uh, those are games that I really like and I really like to play them some more. Then I have a collection which is installed locally. So those are all the games that I have installed. So if I want to find a game very quickly that I don't have to download, for example, in cases that uh, my internet is down, then I can can find here very quickly those games. Then, uh, then I have a collection with all the games, for example, I received uh, for review purposes from my Keymailer account. So also very nice, check those out. So very good games actually. So I can, yeah, if you want to see one of those games in particular, Particular, tell me then I can make a video about this then I, I started making a, 
uh, I make a collection about offline games. So games, games that you can easily play offline if your internet is down. So this is going to, this is a manual collection. I'm starting to, or I'm, I'm continuing to, to try to add always new games there. So that's definitely a collection I want to grow. Then uh, recently I bought myself a nice Logitech steering wheel. So I definitely also enjoy my racing racing games collection if i look for a nice racing game but for this you can also as i said you can uh, you can make a dynamic collection so a collection that is developing by itself when you just add new games so then they get add automatically by by the tag so then my steam creator you also see like 526 games not all the steam creator games i ever got but almost all of well i would say this is like 80 percent of my steam creator groups games i ever got so you see being a steam creator is very useful you get a lot a lot, a lot, a lot of games guys so check this out and then i have a dynamic collection that i call guys that i call the unplayed collection so all of these games are in my dynamic collection so by net actually i called i played my offline so steam thinks i haven't played it yet so this sometimes happens but those are mostly then games i haven't played as well as slay the spires an offline game so i played it but then here they only show the the games that have like no minutes saved in the cloud so when this is then called the the not played yet uh, collection so also you see a lot of games a lot of games then i also have a dynamic collection a dynamic my collection of vr so i always find uh, some interesting vr games to play you see a lot of uh, not so good games there well all right so this is the way how you create your collections guys as and, and uh, for to repeating it go go in settings library settings you can uh, change here the icon size that's also very interesting and i also always recommend check out actually the the home button because i would say that's the first the first the first start to un, uh, understand your library the library how to organize it then you click click on the on the square buttons where you then create on create a collection and then we have games and software now what do i see on the left side this this might be also uh, interesting so here on the left side i see software and games for example a um, group by collection group by collection that's where also very important so so for example favorites is grouped favorite script so if i scroll down so those are now all my favorite games so here games i need to finish so they're all grouped by collection so i can uh, but i can also sort them by recent activity this is what i very often do so then i always see my latest games that are added or the latest game that i played and then i can show only ready to play games so now only games that are installed so now recent games but only those that are installed so this is the best way to find a game that you can play play directly so all right guys so then i would say that's it and let's go and choose very quickly my friends the winner of the uh, latest steam key comment picker giveaway so i'm using the midweek madness video start the raffle and the winner is Joel Fu, Fu, my friend. No worry, dude. Love your videos. It's so informative. So thank you very much, my friend. Write me an email to gamingwithmisterorange at gmail.com and then pick one of the games down below in the description of this video. And if you if you're new to my channel and you want to participate, make sure to like uh, like this video, to comment this video, and subscribe to my channel. And then uh, you're yeah, you're eligible. You're taking part in my giveaway. So that's it, guys. I hope it helped. And see you next time. Bye bye.